In the previous video, we looked at compressing an image. In this video, we're going to take a look at building a mean shift clustering model. We'll start by loading the input data and build a mean shift clustering model. Next, we will train the model, extract the labels, and iterate through data points. The mean shift is a powerful unsupervised learning algorithm that's used to cluster data points. It considers the distribution of data points as a probability density function and tries to find the modes in the feature space. These modes are basically points corresponding to local maxima. The main advantage of mean shift algorithm is that we are not required to know the number of clusters beforehand. Let's say that we have a set of input points and we're trying to find clusters in them without knowing how many clusters we are looking for. Mean shift algorithm considers these points to be sampled from probability density function. If there are clusters in the data points, then they correspond to the peaks of that probability density function. The algorithm starts from random points and iteratively converges towards these peaks. You can learn more about it at this documentation. Now let's see how we could do this in Python. The full code for this video is given in the mean underscore shift dot py file that's already provided to you. Let's look at how it's built. Create a new Python file and import a couple of required packages. So these are the packages we need to import. Now let's load the input data from the data multivar.txt file that's already provided to us. Next build a mean shift clustering model by specifying the input parameters. So this is the code to estimate the bandwidth and this one for compute clustering with mean shift. So now you can see the code here to train the model. Next we have extracted the labels. After this, we extract the centroids of the clusters from the model and print up the number of clusters. Let's go ahead and visualize it. So here we are plotting the centroids. Now iterate through the data points and plot them. Now we move on to command prompt to run our code. So you can see the output here. We have our data with the clusters and their respective centroids. Awesome. In this video, we've built a mean shift clustering model by using the mean shift algorithm. In the next video, we'll group the data using agglomerative clustering.